Just below California's Point Conception, eight mountains rise from some of the deepest seas in the Pacific to form the Channel Islands. This winter, with only whales, dolphins, seals, and of course great white sharks to join her, Karen Wren navigated 149 nautical miles over five days. It was Super Bowl Sunday, 2011. We set out on our quest. What I think about her mission ahead, uh, well, since I proposed it, it better be a damn good one. We traveled for a full day and slept for the first night in the shadow of Santa Barbara Island. As the sun rises, Karen steps onto her board for the first time, launching this momentous journey. Her channel crossing starts from Santa Barbara Island. Right now, I know I have 20 miles ahead of me, but the wind's picking up, and I'm excited just to get on the water and um, start the adventure. She powers through the rest of the day, finishing easily with the boat by her side. We spend a restful night on Catalina Island. With the first crossing down, everyone is safe and looking forward to tomorrow. Karen was dreaming of a short, 17-mile paddle under sunny skies and light tailwinds to San Clemente as forecasted. But instead of the anticipated tailwinds, Karen encountered side chop and headwinds, something stand-up paddlers detest. She powered through the frustrating conditions for the second day and finished with ease. Hardest part of the day is getting back on the boat. That night, we motored back to Catalina to a calm anchorage, leaving the military island of San Clemente behind. We leave Catalina before sunrise, motoring to Santa Barbara for Karen's second most difficult crossing, Santa Barbara Island to San Nicolas Island. Her day of paddling begins nonchalantly among kelp beds, seals, and a pot of whales surfacing directly in front of the boat. Uh, today I'm paddling from Santa Barbara Island to San Nicolas. Is that right? Sure. <laughs> I think that's cool. Yeah. Unfortunately, the ocean party ends as an ominous fin breaks through the water's surface. The crew simultaneously agrees not to say anything to Karen until all of the crossings have been completed. As stories and laughter fill the cabin, the crew notices our anchor jumping. The noise of the anchor fighting the rocky seabed turns an already tense trip into a sleepless night for the crew. With all of the southern island crossings complete, we set sail to the north. Our main concern shifts from sharks to the forecasted weather change. Karen now understands she needs to paddle all of the North Islands in a single day rather than wait and space out the crossing over multiple days. We start the day early. Karen leaves San Miguel to Santa Rosa Island. As she races across all three channels, she's joined by whales and dolphins escorting her through the day's trek. The skies and the seas are friendly as we glide quickly through the northern island chain. On her own travels, Karen picks up surprising speed and grows stronger as the day continues. Another crossing down, we anchor off the beautiful but precarious Anacapa Island, positioned in a small bay tight against the towering cliffs. The final day, the longest and most difficult channel crossing, connecting the North and South Islands. Crossing this territory with a straight line, without considering current wind, it is 43 miles from island to island, with side winds of 10 to 15 knots, rough seas, strong currents, it was sure to be a battle. At first light, we dropped Karen off close to the cliffs of Anacapa, so she may begin her long day's journey. As each hour slides by, conditions worsen.
Karen's pace slows. It has become a race against the winter sun, which is already setting fast, sinking quickly into the low sky and eventually the dark sea. The possibility Karen would not make this channel crossing still lingered in our minds. How are you holding up? I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty hard watching her struggle. Yet Karen had already overcome her fears at this point in the game. Nothing was going to stop her from reaching her goal. In the pitch black of the night, Karen raises her arms and drops to her knees. Woohoo, Karen! <laughs> Thrilled, tired, and victorious, we help her into the dinghy and up the ladder into the boat. When Chris told me that I wasn't going to make it if I didn't hurry, I felt defeated and uh, really frustrated. I wasn't sure I could make it. but wasn't an option to quit, so. I kept it in the gear and finished. In spite of the harsh conditions, Karen achieved what no one else has, an amazing first ever Channel Islands crossing What kind of operation is he running here? <laughs> well, in the very beginning, when I was doing that, the conditions were um, difficult and I was just starting the day. And then I looked at my watch when it was time to actually start paddling and I'd already paddled three quarters of a mile and I was like, okay, this sucks, but here we go. I came to dance, 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 dance. Plan, 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 plan. That's all I know. <laughs> you know. See that island all the way back there? That's where we came from. And now here's where we are. <laughs> and that's where we're going. Our fearless captain up there. No, I'm good. I need to stay behind you. There's so many of them. Oh my, oh, here comes more. <laughs> Did you guys see lots of dolphins? Yeah, go you figure it's the last day. day <laughs> say when. You're like, you would. you're gonna see so many dolphins, you're gonna be sick of them. Hi, I'm Ryan Moss and you're watching Paddle TV. <laughs> <laughs> Get back to a time when life was more simpler. Simpler times. For that simplistic form of life, when you wanna say, Okay, to all the complicated things about life. <laughs> Do you feel simplified? And refreshed. <laughs> That's what we hit. Say no to plastics. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, the boat just went. <laughs> I heard it. I was like, uh oh. Let me try. It's really fun to paddle for 11 and a half hours. <laughs> Shelly, any last words? I love my life. Good action. That was like the best action of the trip. <laughs>
Oh, I love stand-up paddling because you feel so alone out there when you're crossing a channel and everybody else is on the boat drinking simpler times. Living in a lonely world. What were you seeing? Well, one time I saw something black and white go under me, and so, I mean, you don't know if you're seeing something white and the darkness of the ocean is under you, or an orca whale. <laughs> I don't want to see one of those. Here go, Karen! Watch out for big sharks. <laughs> So glad that's over. <laughs> <laughs>